Affiliate marketing is fairly straightforward to understand in that a company simply rewards those who sell its products with a commission. That way, one, the company is happy because it generates sales without having to worry about marketing, two, those who sell the product are happy because they don't have to take care of shipping, customer support, and so on. Multi-level marketing, on the other hand, also called pyramid selling or network marketing, takes things one step further because people don't just get rewarded for sales they secure. They also get paid for sales the people below them generated, perhaps even for sales generated by the recruits of those below them, and so on. Let's assume company A sells shoes. In an affiliate marketing scenario, Joe sells a pair of shoes to Bill and company A rewards him with a, let's say, 10% commission. In a multi-level marketing scenario, however, it gets more complicated. For example, one, Joe sells a pair of shoes to Bill and receives a 10% commission for that sale. Two, Bill sells a pair of shoes to Rachel and for that sale, Joe will receive a 5% commission because he recruited Bill. Three, Rachel sells a pair of shoes to Mark and for that sale, Joe will receive a 3% commission because he recruited the person who recruited Rachel. As can be seen, this can turn into a pyramid situation with Joe on top and the math can seem very tempting. In our example, if everyone generates 10 sales, then Joe receives 10% for 10 sales, 5% for 100 sales, and 3% for 1,000 sales. The main problems, however, are that 1. For the most part, only those on top make good money. 2. Multi-level marketing tends to attract people with a, let's say, get-rich-quick mentality. Three, the companies themselves are frequently questionable, focusing more on promising people they'll get rich than on the quality of their products. All in all, the waters of multi-level marketing tend to be quite murky compared to affiliate marketing, so proceed with caution.